All right, so this is the labeling activity, and you have to label different pieces. Ooh, let's go to the instructions one. Different pieces of the different computers. Uh, and there's three or four different photos, but you can pick whichever one fits best. So on the Raspberry Pi, this one, you can actually label almost all the pieces. And you're going to use a tool called Google Drawing. So you just go into it, and you can click on your, on your file, and it opens it up in a new tab. And then you can use a combination of text boxes and just draw a box where you want to draw a box and you can use this fill in the background to kind of fill in the background so then you can type into the box and you could say that this are, these are USB ports and then you can use this line tool but I would make it an arrow and then you can really put it right off the edge there and you can even make your line thickness a little bit stronger. Then you can really point right at what you're labeling. So if you look at the instructions here, uh, Raspberry Pi, oh, USB ports isn't one of the things that you even had to label, but that's actually where you would put the keyboard and mouse. So then I can go back to it and go USB ports. Click back on text box here. Oops. Oh, you know what? Look at that. I made an extra one. So that's, I just hit backspace to delete that. Let's click back there and it might put input or keyboard and mouse. Because you usually plug those in through USB port and then you can drag that down. So this is where you can use this to create these labeling things. So it works really well. If you're not sure what all these pieces are, because you might go, this is a really strange looking computer. And the idea is it's a really small computer. Um, it's called a Raspberry Pi, so Google it. So I'm going to go Raspberry Pi and have a look at all the different pieces in there. Go to images and you can start to see other people have done labeling things. And you can see here's all these different pieces. Aha, that'll probably be a very helpful diagram. But you can see these little computers are really cool. You can actually plug them in and, and make them all sorts of really neat stuff. And you can see different things plugged into them there. So have a look and search online. Uh, the PC one is the same way. If you're like, ah, oh, that's the inside of a computer. I, I have no idea what that might, what those parts are. So if you go inside of a computer, those are PCs. So that might help too. And see, people have all sorts of different images here labeling things. So it's for you to dig into a little bit and figure out what all these different pieces are. So absolutely use resources out there on the internet to help you label all these different parts of a computer. So you have seven things to label there and you have seven things to label there.